All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is just a quick update, okay, on the, you know, this uh, Russia and U.S. INF treaty. All right, and it says here from RT News, uh, Russia suspends INF treaty with U.S. Um, so I'll read a little bit of it. You know what I mean? Because, hey, this is this is what the, the times we're in. All right. And this is as prophets what we're, we're supposed to do. OK, to, 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 to watch these prophecies, measure the times diligently and to bring it out. So it says President Vladimir Putin has signed a decree enacting Russia's suspension of the INF Treaty, a move that was announced after a similar decision by the U.S. Uh, the weapons control agreement was set to expire in less than six months. Russia is putting is putting on ice. The Cold War era agreement, which resulted in significant demilitarization of the European continent, the U.S. will be formally notified about the decision. Now, why is it? Let me get this preset real quick. OK, well, the question is, why is it that um, that a deal that was made to demilitarize all right, the European continent is now being halted or done away with? Because then it allows for what? The, uh, the remilitarization of okay of these of these countries okay which is prophecy okay because the most high ultimately is the one doing all this for a purpose okay and that is to fulfill prophecy okay so um So okay, give me one second. All right, draw three and nine. Okay. All right, so this is Proverbs chapter one, uh, 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Okay. And the king, uh, in today's, in today's uh, 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 day, would sort of be like Trump, okay, or Putin. Okay. Those are kings of different nations, all right, or different countries. All right. And so it says uh, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Now, when you go into the word heart in the Hebrew, it's lab which means your mind, your thoughts, okay? So the thoughts of these presidents and all these different people, really the thoughts of everybody, all right, is in the hands of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will, okay? So however, whatever the Lord wants, okay, however he wants, he wants to, uh, um, uh, he, whatever he wants you to do, that's what you're going to do, okay? And like the scriptures say, man, uh, 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 the Lord, the Lord say he's going to put an evil thought into the minds of these Russians, OK, and we see that happening because what is this leading to? This is leading to World War Three. Now, Esau will tell you that, oh, if there was a, a third world war, nuclear war, it would be mad, mutually assured destruction. Nobody would survive. Everything would be destroyed. That is a lie. OK, that is not true. According to the scriptures, according to biblical prophecy, that is not what is going to happen. OK, however, America, all right, the daughter of Babylon will be completely destroyed, annihilated, eviscerated, you know, raised done just just completely done it's just going to be a desert and rightfully so okay rightfully so so this is joel chapter 3 verse 9 proclaim ye this among the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong so they're moving away from from a uh, 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 peaceful uh, uh, um um materials into into what a uh, war war mode basically okay so this right here is an example of that because this is basically clearing out all the obstacles and the bridges in between that war okay so yeah this world war three is going to happen now what you see is a lot of people in the world starting to actually see this you know now people are starting to actually consider it being a possibility you know, and by I'm, I'm talking about those who don't even, you know, what I mean, who don't even refer to themselves as Israelites, so on and so forth. All right. But watching geopolitical news and the tensions rising, they're like, oh, shoot, you know, these guys might actually be right. OK, and that's when the fear and the panic sets in, because if they're right, that means that our asses are done. <laughs> OK, so it says um, Russia is putting on ice the Cold War uh, era agreement, which resulted in significant demilitarization of the European continent. The U.S. will be formally noted, uh, notified about the decision.
All right, we're going to see what they what 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 response the US has. So it says the INF treaty may be uh, revived if the US eliminates its earlier violations of its obligations under the deal according to the decree published by the Kremlin uh on Monday. Now, more than likely it's not going to be revived, but even if it does, it's not going to stop the prophecy from happening. All right? So it says otherwise it will simply expire and cease to exist. So it says uh, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty came into force in 1988 and banned both the Soviet Union and the U.S. from developing and deploying land-based crews and ballistic missiles with ranges between 500 and 5,500 kilometers. The agreement was signed to de-escalate tensions in Europe, where both countries had dozens of such missiles deployed, posing a risk of an accidental nuclear exchange. OK, so it was it was what designed to, to uh, de-escalate tensions. But now with tensions rising, you can see that that agreement is now being a done, uh, now being done away with. OK, and this time it's not going to it's not going to stop. The tensions are going to keep rising till the missiles start flying. So it says the missiles only need minutes to reach their targets. And that's why the scriptures say it's going to take only one hour. All right. For America to be destroyed. All right, this is uh, Revelation 18, verse 9. And the kings of the earth, like we just we just talked about, all right, these 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 leaders of these other uh, countries have uh, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, that her is talking about America, okay? Because what? What, what do these nations do? They make uh, trade deals with America, all right? They come over here, they make businesses, so on and so forth. That's them, that's them living deliciously. You know, what I mean, getting getting Babylonianized and all of that, Americanized, Westernized. OK, that's them living deliciously because they make money off of America because you have a lot of consumers here in America. Look at anything. But damn near even these make America great again hats are what made in China. <laughs> you know, so a lot of these different uh, uh, things you see, if you look at it, I tell you it's, it's made somewhere else. He says she shall bewail her. Oh, Salakia shall bewail her. And lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Why? Because that is the, the 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 city where they made their money. So they know that they're gonna they're not gonna make that money anymore. So yeah, they're gonna be like, oh nah, damn. You know, they're gonna lament for her. All right, when they seek the smoke of her burning. Why? Because America is gonna be on fire, man. Okay. The 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 by way of the chariots. All right, shooting down laser beams over here and with nuclear missiles hitting this place at the same time. So it says, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And it's going to show you the power of the Lord because how, how big a city this is, okay, with all the different, um, all the different uh, 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 things that America has done and is known for, you know, and how people consider it so-called great it is brought down so quickly in only one hour, okay? So uh, keep going. It says the missiles only need minutes. The missiles only need minutes to reach their targets, leaving a very small window for the other side to decide whether a detected attack was a real one, requiring immediate retaliation or a false positive. It says the per the preservation of the agreement uh, has been under threat for over a decade, with both sides complaining about the other not fully complying with its terms. The U.S. claimed that Russia had secretly developed a missile that violated the INF, an accusation that Moscow denies. Russia had two major complaints. One is that the U.S. use of intermediate uh, range missiles in the development of anti-missile technology still meant that it was deploying and testing banned missiles. The other was that the creation of uh, AEGIS Ashore, a ground-based version of the naval system which can fire Tomahawk cruise missiles, in addition to missile interceptors, the U.S. insists that Aegis Ashore launchers in Romania and Poland are purely defensive, but Moscow sees them as a potential launching uh, as potential launching pads for an attack on Russian territory. So yeah, they're not trying to take that risk. It says last year, the Trump administration announced that unless Russia destroys its stockpiles of the missile that the U.S. claims to be uh, in violation of the treaty, Washington will withdraw from the INF. With negotiations failing to resolve the situation, 
the U.S. announced its, for, its formal suspension of the treaty in early February. And now you have early March, Russia is now uh, 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 announcing their suspension. Okay, so it's not looking it's not looking too good for this agreement here. It says Russia said it would do the same because what we're getting closer and closer to the end. Okay, so prophecies have to move forward. You know, it has to move forward because we're getting closer and closer to that time. They're not always going to just keep going back and forth, arguing and, and threatening each other forever. No, at some point it's going to start escalating more and more and more rapidly. But before that, the chip needs to be uh, 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 enacted and mandated. OK, Jacob's trouble, martial law, all that hell is still going to need to happen before that. OK, that's why the scriptures say, though, it's Harry, wait for it. You know, you hear some big news it's like, oh, it's right there. But then it slows down and then it comes back. You know, that's it tearing. But when it hits, it's not going to tarry. So it says Russia said it would do the same and accuse the U.S. of duplicity, saying Washington was using its claim about the Russian missile as a pretext to abandon the deal, which it no longer finds convenient. Uh, Moscow says it has no intention of building and deploying intermediate range nuclear capable missiles on its land unless the U.S. does so first. But if it does, Russia has both the technology and the production capacity to respond swiftly and restore parity in nuclear forces. President Putin warned in his, in his latest state of the national address. He warned that Russia, Russian missiles would target not only American missiles in Europe, but also centers of decision from which an order to deliver a strike against Russia may be issued. And if that's in America, well, so be it, <laughs> you know. So, you know, this is the talk of the town. This is this is the uh, 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 the news, all right, that we're hearing in our everyday lives now, you know. This is like sounding like common news. But here it is. You got people that don't even know that this is going on. And that's why the scriptures say that it's going to come like a thief in the night because they're not watching. They're knocked out. They're in their third dream right now, you know. So they don't even see what's going on. They don't hear the alarm clock. They don't hear nothing. They don't smell the smoke or the fire. They're just going to lay in there till they start feeling the burn, and it's going to be way too late. Okay? But for us over here, man, as prophets of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we're going to keep on our watch. We're going to keep watching, keep prophesying, and just doing the will that, that of, of our Heavenly Father. Okay? That is, that, is, that is our obedience, okay, to please the Heavenly Father. All right, so low willing, I was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.